Hello everyone. Can you all hear me? I hope so. Right, I'm just going to rearrange the camera a little because are you going to be able to see me? I'm apologising in advance if my lighting isn't very good today. This is a brand new setup that I've got. Can everyone see me? Right. Guys, first and foremost, I've got both Instagram and YouTube Live happening at the same time, okay? I feel like for YouTube, I'm a little bit dark, but I don't know, I can't correct that right now. Um, hopefully, you can still see what I'm doing. Instagram, you're here. Yes, of course, I will save the Instagram Live, um, but because I'm also doing it on YouTube Live, it will be on YouTube forever after this. So, fingers crossed, this works. Um, I wanted to be able to offer something to my YouTube audience. I've been uploading on YouTube for years now. So um, I wanted to be able to give those guys something as well. Or if any of my Instagram lot want to head over and watch on YouTube on a bigger screen, then you can do as well. Because sometimes on the phone, it just doesn't look as good. And you kind of want to see it a little bit bigger. Okay. Today we are focusing on lower body and abs. Okay. So everything from here downwards you do not need any shoes on at all so take your shoes off if you've got them on if you do have a resistance band please grab that right now it's not necessary and you can do the workout without it but if you've got one to hand grab that and most importantly please grab some water okay so grab some water get ready to go we are going to go in literally 30 seconds Thank you, YouTube, for letting me know that you can all see perfectly. Um, okay, here we go. Right, guys, so with your resistance band just to the side, we're going to start with a nice, simple warm-up, mobilising the body. Here we go. Let's start Tuesday in the right way. Okay, feet a little wider than hip width apart. We are just going to transfer the weight side to side. Now let's speed it up, here we go. Yes. We're just mobilizing out the hips. Nothing too intense yet. Eight bounces on the right, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. Other side, here we go. We're gonna go back to one on each side, reaching down to the opposite toe. We go reach, 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 yes. Give me eight more of these. We're just warming up. Okay, eight bounces on the right, seven, six, in four, three, two, other side. Four, three, two, one. Let's just sit in a nice deep plie. It's a nice plie in second, just to open out those hips. We are gonna be doing some squats today, so we might end up feeling it in our hips. So we just wanna open everything out whilst we can. Okay, now coming up to standing, taking alternate legs, I just want you to rotate each leg outwards. So imagine that you're drawing a nice big circle with your knee. Yes. Nice and gentle. Don't force the knee anywhere. Don't force the hip. Okay, coming back down into that plie. We're going to rotate, come back to center, other side. Rotate, back to center. Once again, rotate and centre, rotate, and centre, yes, rotate, again, this isn't really a lunge, more just to stretch out that front hip flexor, okay, so this is just to stretch things out before we start to make the work, few more, let's go, rotate, recover, rotate, recover, two more, rotate, Recover, last one. Okay, coming up to standing, arms in front of your chest. 
We're going to do some ab rotation. So with this, we're just mobilizing the spine, keeping the elbows nice and lifted, keeping the arms in front of the chest. Try not to move the hips, just twisting from the waist upwards. Just mobilizing that spine. Yes. Eight bounces to the right. Here we go. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other side. Four, three, two. Arms by the side. Stretch down to one side and up. Other side. And up. And down. And up. And down. And up, yes. So again, this is just to stretch out the opposite side. Don't you worry, the bird will come. I'm easing you into it. Yes. Last two. Last one. Good, guys. Now, nice big stretch up to the ceiling. Inhale, deep breath in, and we're going to exhale on three, two, one. Once again, nice deep breath in, reaching everything up to the ceiling. In three, in two, in one. Taking the right arm up over the top, stretching out, more static stretch this time. And when you think about lengthening to that top diagonal corner, not crunching over, okay? So everything is nice and long, lifted and lengthened in this workout. And the other side. And recover. I want you to interlock the fingers in front of you. Push those palms right in front of you and curve your spine. So we're in a nice little concave um, stretch here. If you want to have a little wiggle here, get that vertebrae all nice and mobile. Get that spine moving. And doing exactly the same this time behind you. So you interlock the fingers. Push the chest forward, press the sternum, slightly lift the chin, feel that stretch. Okay guys, and shake it out. Right, that was your warm up done, okay? That was a warm up done, we are getting into it. Right, just making sure that everyone everywhere can still see me, is still with me, yes. Right, brilliant. Guys, if you have your assistance band, Pop it on right now, okay? So, if you've got resistance band, it needs to go just above your knees, okay? So just above the kneecap. If you don't have one, that's totally fine. You're still gonna get the um, burn from these, but the resistance band does make it a little bit trickier, okay? So with this resistance band, it's going to try and pull your knees inwards. You want to work against it and keep those knees outwards, okay? Even if you don't have the band on, I still want you to visualize that you've got a band on and that your knees are staying out. You can feel that resistance. We are going to start with regular squats. Here we go. As we squat down, we're keeping the weight in the heels. We're pushing the bum back. And as we straighten the legs, we're pushing those hips slightly forward just to get that extra squeeze. You're here. You might as well make the most of it. Get that extra squeeze out of it. Yes, give me four more, four and three, two more. We're gonna hold this one down. Small pulses, here we go. Tiny little pulses, you're not moving very far at all. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Back to regular squats. Up and down, up and down. Yes, keep the weight in those heels. Keep pushing those hips forward as you straighten the legs. Let's not forget about the upper body. Keep those shoulders nice and open. If you need to place your hands on your shoulders or cross your arms to keep them open, that's okay. Hold this one down, let's pulse it out. Let's go. Starting to feel that burn kick in. Yes, here we go. You've got eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. We're gonna do three counts down. It goes three, two, one, recover. Three, two, one, 
recover, making sure those knees are still over those toes. Keep pushing that bum back. Think about the bum going back rather than down. It goes out behind you, keeping your spine nice and long. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Hold this one down. Right leg only, we're gonna lift the heel. Yes, just the right leg. Stay nice and low if you've got that band on, work against it. If not, imagine you have two more. Left leg, here we go. Feel that resistance. Imagine that you're squashing something underneath your heel. So you've got that resistance. Two more. Guys, we're gonna go both legs together. Here we go. Both go up and down, up and down, up. Can we push for eight more? Let's do it all together. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Give those legs a little shake out, guys. We are gonna do that once again. Okay, hopefully you felt the burn. Hopefully now you know what you need to work on. If it's balanced, you need to hold that core a little bit tighter. Do you feel like you get a little bit lower? Push that arm a little bit further back. Okay, so we're gonna go down, just do the heel lifts, right and left, and then both together. Are you with me? On Instagram, tap those hearts if you're with me. On YouTube, leave me a comment. Let me know that you're still with me and I'm not doing this workout on my own. Are you ready? Let's go down. Right leg first. We go up and down, up and down. Eight, seven, yes. Thank you guys for letting me know you're still here. Four, three, two, one, other leg, let's go. Three, let's stay nice and low, two. Both heels together, here we go, stay nice and low. Keep that spine nice and long. Don't let your body do this, keep everything nice and long. You've got four, you've got three, You've got two, let's hold the heels up. Let's try for a small pulse, here we go. If you're struggling with this, put those heels down, but keep pulsing, stay nice and low. Everyone else, you've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, are we feeling that? How are we getting on, yes. Yes, guys, using the right leg only. We're gonna step out, recover. And out. As we step out, we're still going into a squat with our weight central to both of our legs. Now that we've got that recover in the middle, I really need to make the most of that squat. Try and get as low as you can. Try and get that bum as far back as you can. Two more. Other leg. Hold this one down, our last set of pulses. Here we go. Guys. Yes, I can feel that burn too. You're so nearly there. You've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Guys, grab a quick drink of water. We are gonna remove the band. We're gonna go onto some lunges, okay? How are we feeling? Grab some water. Yes, people are feeling the burn, this is good. This is good. Yes, people are still with me. This is good. No matter what time of day it's for you, no matter where you are in the world, we're all united and feeling this burn together. We are gonna move on to some lunges, okay? With these lunges, really important that you again keep your front knee over your toe, you want to try and get that knee one to two inches off the floor. 
you can tap it on the floor. Amazing, but please be careful that you don't bash your knee on the floor and injure yourself. That is not what we want. Okay, we're going to start by doing alternate lunges, stepping forward. Here we go. We step and other leg. Try and stick with my pace if you can. If you can't, take it at your own pace. Just make sure that technically you are doing everything right. Okay, so hold that core in. Yes. That spine nice and long. Four, three, two, one. Hold this one, we're gonna go. Three, two, one. Recover, same as we did with the squats. Two, one, recover. Three, two, one. Hold this one down. We're gonna lift and lower that front heel. Here we go. We lift and lower. Your core is needed right now. Engage that core. Think about that belly button coming through to the spine. So everything in that midsection is nice and locked in. Two more. Hold it up. Let's pulse here if you can. If you're struggling, you can lower that front heel, but keep pulsing. We are nearly there. You've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other leg straight in. Let's go. Three, two, one. Recover. I want you to feel that strength in the legs, okay? You don't have to be doing loads of jump lunges, loads of jump squats in order to work the muscles, okay? As long as you're focusing on the correct technique and you're focusing on the muscles that you want to be working, they will and they will do their job. Two more, let's go. Last one, we're gonna hold it down. We're gonna lift and lower that front heel. Nice and controlled. There is strength and power in control. Sometimes the quicker you do things, actually the weaker you are because you just wanna rush it and get it over and done with. Two more. Hold this one up. Let's get ready to pulse. Here we go. Just tiny little pulses, nothing big. Yes, guys, you've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Recover. If your leg was shaking at the end, that is good. We like a shake, okay? We like a shake. A shake is what we want. A shake means that your muscle is going, oh, I'm actually working. I'm actually doing what I'm meant to do, okay? Shaking is good, shaking means progression. Okay, let's do some rises. So with your feet in just a natural turnout, nothing too balletic, just wherever they are, don't worry about them being dead parallel. We're gonna rise and lower. Rise and lower, and rise and lower. I want you to imagine that you've got a glass of water bouncing on your head. Okay, what are you gonna do to make sure that water doesn't fall off? You're gonna lock everything in, you're gonna make sure your legs are nice and strong, strong ankles. We're now only gonna lower to halfway. So we go up all the way, we lower to half. Okay, we only lower to half. So our heels do not touch the floor. Let's work those calves. Try not to grip the toes. Try to spread the toes out. Faster, up, up, and up, up. Yes, keep going. That glass of water should still be on your head. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feeling in those calves. Let's have a little quick calf stretch before we go down onto the floor. And we're going into our ab section. If you don't have a mat, you want to grab a towel, go grab a towel. Just stretch out those calves, push that heel into the back of the floor. Okay, I'm just gonna check if everyone can see me if I go onto the floor, hopefully you can. Yes, okay. The lighting is very different on Instagram to YouTube. It's very hard to do this, because one of them's quite dark, one of them's quite bright. So apologies if you can't see me too well, but I'm here. <laughs> okay guys, moving on to abs. We're gonna try and target, <clears throat> excuse me, all areas of the abs today, okay? If you can't hold things as long as I can, that's okay. Just remember it and then maybe try and work on it in your own time or the next time we do this exercise in another workout in the future, okay? We're gonna start with our feet flat on the floor, our spine nice and low. We're just gonna roll back for eight counts, okay? We're gonna roll back 
scooping the spine. However, I want you to stop when you get to your kind of breaking point of where you're going to start to shake. Okay, that's the point where I want you to stop and try and hold it there. No one gets anything by staying up here. No one gets anything by coming all the way down here. You're here, you're in the workout, you might as well get something out of it. I want you to get to this point. It's different from everyone. I want you to hold that for eight counts and then we're going to recover, okay? Here we go, all together. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold here. Let's hold here. Hold that, those abs nice and strong. If you do need to place your hands underneath your thighs, you can do. Try and keep those hands off. If you're shaking, shaking is good. Just keep breathing. Let's recover for eight counts. You've got eight, seven. Take all eight counts. Five, four, three. We're going to go once again straight in. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it here. There's an option here to take your legs off. If you want to, make it a little bit harder for yourself. You don't have to. You can still hold underneath your thighs if you want. Have your hands up in the air. It's up to you. Just make sure that you're at your breaking point. Let's recover. Here we go. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're going to do it one last time. Straight in. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now, everyone together, legs are on or off. We're going to pulse together. Let's pulse side to side. We go side, side. I always try and aim for my elbows to touch the floor to make sure I'm actually twisting my upper body. Try and stay with me. We are nearly there. Keep going. You've got eight, seven, six, five, in four, three, two, one, and recover. Okay, guys, we've not got that long left, but I want to squeeze in these few exercises. We're going to lay down on our backs. We're going to do dead bugs. This is for my friend Patrick Wilson, who did my charity workout the other day and didn't quite know what the dead bugs were. So we have our hands up to the ceiling, our knees at a nice right angle. As I take my right arm back, I lengthen my left leg, and then I bring them back both to centre. The idea is that nothing touches the floor. The only thing touching the floor are your back, okay? So your arm and your leg don't actually touch the floor. They just extend out and recover. Here we go, all together. This is a nice low impact one. It's still going to target the abs. If you feel like your lower back is coming off the floor or you've got pain, pop one hand underneath your spine and try and press your fingers. Try and squeeze your fingers. Okay, that is gonna, that's how you know your abs are still working. Keep going. Option to take your shoulder blades off the mat if you want to. You've got four, three, two, hugs. Next up, last but not least, stand on your back. We're gonna do some bicycle twists, okay? Here we go, let's just blast it out. That elbow to the opposite knee. Try and extend that leg. You've got eight, seven, six, five, in four, three, two, one. Guys, just roll over onto your stomach. We are not quite done, but I am gonna let you have a little cobra. So place your hands underneath your shoulders, stretch out your abs. Coming up onto all fours and then extending your legs out so we are in a high plank. We are just going to start with some rotations. So we put all of our weight onto one arm, going into a side plank. We then recover. We do the same thing on the other side. Let's see how many we can do. Same, nice and high.
Yes. Nice straight line from your ankles all the way up to the top of your head. Last one. Let's come around to the front. Let's stack the feet on top of each other. If you want to go down onto your elbow for this side plank, you can do. Let's lift up and lower and up and lower. Two more. Hold this one up. Let's pulse it here to the ceiling. Let's work those obliques. Now hold that side plank. Option to take off your foot and your hand, lift up your hands, or you can hold it here. Just maintain that nice, strong side plank. We're going to do eight more pulses. In three, two, one, let's go pulse. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and recover. Obviously, we have two sides of the bleaks, so we have to do the other side. Here we go, straight in, up. And down, and up, and down, up, up, and down. Yes, four, and three, two more. Hold this one up. Let's pulse it here. Pulse, squeeze. With every pulse, I want you to think about tensing that side of the bleaks. Four, three, two, hold the side plank. Again, option to lift up the foot and lengthen up the arm. If not, you can just hold it here. We're going to do eight more pulses. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, coming on to laying on that, your front. Last little push. I promise you, you've got a couple of minutes left. Are you guys all still with me? Yes, you are still with me. Who's still with me over here? Yes, okay guys, we've got people with us. Okay, coming into this last exercise, we're gonna do slow mountain climbers, bringing the knee in between the arms, trying to get it to the chin. I want to see how close you can get it. It's that last little squeeze that's really gonna work those abs, okay? Really put it in as close as possible. When you think you're as far as you can go, Try to squeeze another little bit out of it. You should, I can feel this firing out my abs. You should be able to feel this in your core. Yes. Don't stop. Keep going. How many more can we do? Last one, let's do it. And recover. Hands under the shoulders, lift up into a cobra. Stretch out those abs. Oh. Oh, God. Lower back down. I want you to take one foot, press the heel into your bum to give you a nice quad stretch, laying on your front still. and switch legs. So important that you stretch out after your workout, even if you're gonna go do another live after this, because you don't wanna confuse your muscles. Okay guys, pulling up into a nice child's pose. Yes guys. And just kind of sitting, taking one arm up over the top, stretching out those obliques that we've just worked. And slowly, I want you to place your hands onto the floor and I want you to walk them all the way around to the front, but stretch them out as far as possible. Tuck the chin under when you get to the front. You should feel this in your glutes as well, this stretch. And in your own time, I want you to carry on going all the way around to the other side until you get to a stretch on the other side. And recover. Yes, guys. 
Thank you so much for joining me, whether you're on Instagram or on YouTube. Thank you so much. I will be back tomorrow at exactly the same time. That's 11 a.m. UK time. Tomorrow we have a, I believe it's a cardio workout. So you're definitely going to want your water for that. You might even need a towel, a lot of high energy. There is jumping involved. So if you do have knee or ankle injuries, either maybe sit this one out or come and see how much you can do. There will be modifications. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a brilliant day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye. YouTube, yes, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Oh, this is so nice. I've never done this before. So thank you for making my first YouTube live stream. Very, very simple. I'm sorry that the lighting wasn't very good. I need to figure that out for tomorrow. Um, please let me know any suggestions of how I can make the lighting. Could you see all right? This is the first time I've ever been live on YouTube. It's very, very daunting. Um, thank you, everyone. Oh, wow, people are literally from all over the place. So lighting was fine. Thank you, Cathy, for letting me know. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Kelly. Yes. Yes, it is because of the window, which is why I've shut the blind. I've actually got a window facing me, which I thought would help with more light. And I've got like loads of lighting set up. But people are saying they can see everything. Perfect. Amazing. Right, guys, I'm going to go leave you to enjoy your day. I will see you tomorrow at the same time for a cardio workout. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.